Hello everybody, Mike Nelson, CEO of Efficient Lending Incorporated, coming to you today in the middle of December with my three reasons why I'm excited about opportunities in real estate in 2023. Number one, rates are improving. They have been for the last month or so, and they will continue into, into Q1 of next year. Number two, I'm seeing much more balanced contracts coming across my desk between buyers and sellers. And number three, there are some great products available in the marketplace right now. Look, 2023, I'm excited about opportunities in 2023. We're in that part of the season where we see the 2022 recaps and the forecast for 2023. And depending if you're pessimistic, you see doom and gloom, you know, and if you're optimistic, you see great opportunity. Look, I'm on the op optimistic side. Why? Because I know historically, regardless of, you know, what's going on in the marketplace, and look, I know it's tough for businesses right now, but, but, but real estate typically historically has always done well in uh, periods of recession. And look, I'm excited about opportunities in 2023. All right, here, let's get into it. My three reasons. Number one, rates are improving. Look, if you compare pricing you were getting in October of this year to what we're getting right now, you will see substantial improvement in terms of both the interest rate and the cost of discounts or points uh, to buy down the rate. Talk a little bit more about this in a second. So rates are improving, and I think they're going to improve nicely based on some technical analysis in February and March of Q1. And look, call me if you want more information on that. But rates are improving, and I like to see that to continue. Number two, contracts are more balanced. And this is true. I'm seeing seller concessions that can be used to improve the buyer situation. I'm seeing you know, inspection items are getting paid for by sellers. Uh, appraisals matter again. Look, the, the, the market we came out from was just a nightmare for buyers. And now we're more balanced. And why is that good? Because that means that, that we're getting... Good wins for sellers and, and, uh, and buyers alike, uh, uh, more balance, uh, sellers are winning, buyers are winning. It just was completely lopsided and that was not good for a healthy, sustainable market. And number three, there are great products available right now. Look, I'm seeing seller concessions uh, come across and a seller concession can be used for basically a combination or solely for one of four things. Reduce purchase price, pay for closing costs, a temporary buy down or a permanent buy down of the interest rate. That's how we use seller concessions. Word to the word to the wise here. I am seeing crazy things come out from real estate agents and, le and lenders alike where they just say the three, two, one, because it's the hot and sexy thing going on right now is the best way to go. Look, if somebody makes a definitive statement about what the best option, how to use a seller concession is for you, the first question out of your mouth should be, wonderful, please show me the math that you used to make that recommendation. Guys, seller concessions, they're simple math problems. Make sure you're working with somebody who knows how to give you the right advice based on analytics and math that they've done. All right, I'm super excited about 2023. I see great opportunities. Why? Regardless if you're doom and gloom or you think it's going to be uh, a, you know, a, a boom next year, rates are improving and they're going to continue to improve as inflation comes down. Contracts are balanced, so buyers and sellers are now we're in a win-win situation instead of the win-lose is where we were. And there are great products that a qualified lender and real estate agent can use to give buyers great advice. Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy New Year, have a great 2023.